back again. I hope you guys are having a good week so far. I just wanted to go over today some of my favorite brushes and just what I've been using consistently, which is very rare. So um, just a little bit about the brushes. They're all different brands from MAC, um, Sephora, um, IT Cosmetics. So I'll just go over each of them separately and explain how I use each of them. So the first one I use is... <laughs> for face makeup, I usually use the makeup or beauty blender, so that that's just been working really well uh, for my dry skin lately too, and it gives this airbrush finish, um, and I really like it, and it's easy cleaning, no need for like a brush cleaner or anything like that, but that one has been working out really well, and then I follow it up with a um, big fluffy brush, this one's the Morphe G7 brush and it's really soft and has this nice gunmetal um, finish to it and I really like it. It's just really really soft. It applies the color really really naturally so it's not too patchy or anything or it doesn't dispense too much color where I just look like I really have like a bad tan. Um, but I just really like this one to kind of blend out some color if I apply too much or if I use um, this Sephora Pro Precision Blush brush. I don't really use it for blush. I use it actually to um, contour my cheekbones. So I usually apply the, um, use the MAC Cream Contour Stick right here. And then I'll blend it out with a beauty blender and then I'll go in with um, some bronzer. And then I'll just go ahead and carve it out and just set it with um, this brush and I'll bring it up and then I'll put a little bit here and then that's pretty much it and it looks really nice like you can see that the high cheekbones and then after that I will apply blush and this one's the it brushes for Ulta and it says love beautifully and it has this um, like protector in case you um, will be traveling and so you don't mess up like the brush and it's not frayed or um, it just keeps it nice and sanitary too um, but it's pretty much you squeeze it down and slide it off and then it applies really it's so soft like I think it's even softer than I would say it's similar but this one's really nice I just dab into my blush a little bit and then I just pat it in and that's pretty much it like if you like soft finishes I think these um, will give you that finish because I don't really like like bold like bright colors so I usually like to keep it very natural unless I'm going out then maybe I'll add a little bit more but even then it's not like BAM um, but I write like those for my face and then afterwards I would follow up with a um, fan brush. So I like to keep like the covers just to make sure the brushes stay the way they were when they were bought. So this one's the Sephora Pro Fan Brush. And so those um, Sephora um, Pro brushes are really nice because they're so soft and you can feel like the quality is pretty nice too. Um, but it looks like this. And pretty much I will just um, swipe back and forth. Um, into my highlighter and I'll just kind of dust it here and kind of drag it down um, and then same thing on this side too not just the tops but kind of drag it down as you um, as you blend everything together and then some on underneath my eyebrow and um, down my nose a little on my cupid's bow um, and that's it it's very simple and it doesn't um, grab too much product where it's just oops like you don't know what happened it's a big huge like highlight there that you don't want um, it's very natural and I use it every day um, but I will use different highlighters so I'll use ones from like Becca I'll use um, there's one I got recently from Dior and um, I believe it's the nude air luminizers and they're so natural and it's actually what I'm wearing today um, and it's just it gives you that glow so it's not like shimmery it's just gives you that glow at a certain angle you'll kind of see like kind of like a gleam to it so it's really nice if you want to just keep it natural um, for an everyday look or for uh, work and then um, going into eyes I really like 
this brush from MAC. As you can see, the the print on it has been um, touched so much that you can't really see. Actually, you can still see. It's the MAC one, a 217 brush, and it's pretty much uh, one for, that you apply into your crease. And this one I have to have, like I have to use. I've tried others and it doesn't really get into the, that eyelid area and mine are kind of like like hooded over sometimes so sometimes when I apply a lot of color it just it doesn't show but this one is okay because you can apply a little above that um, eyelid and into that um, brow bone and it's really good for that area and then I'll go in with um, after I apply all the shadows with that I'll do my bottom um, eyeliner area so I'll go ahead and just kind of smudge a little bit of whatever I used um, on my top eyeshadow. Um, so I'll use three shades. So one that's more neutral grayish and then something warmer, like a orangey or orangey brownish color, and then brown. Um, so it's like a gradient effect. So it's not just a dark color right away, but it blends um, as a gradient. And then I'll just smudge it down here um, just to balance the top and the bottom. And then after that, I will go back to the top um, and then I will um, dip into like a shimmery shade so I can apply that on the moving um, area of my lid. So like mostly the middle part and I'll kind of just pat it down and then pat it down. So this one's really nice. This one's the MAC 242 brush and it looks like that. It's really nice. I, I I only got this a few months ago and I really like it. Before I would just kind of use like this kind of brush, um, the 239, but I really like the um, 242 to pack on a little bit more color in the middle um, because I do like a little bit of shimmer just, um, compared to like just color um, and just kind of matte or satin. I like to have a little bit of shimmer and then I'll um, use the MAC 239 into the corners of my um, into my um, what's it called inner corners <laughs> and then it just gives it a really nice um, bit of shine there and brightness and I think that was all for my brushes I know this video is probably pretty concise because I kind of wanted to keep it um, sweet and short for you guys so you know um, what maybe some um, brush recommendations you can um, follow through with and purchase on your own and just give it a go because these are honestly really great brushes and I've used especially the MAC ones I've used for so long and they last like a pretty good um, amount of time um, but yeah they're just so soft and easy to work with and I haven't changed those brush in a long like those brushes in a really long time so I mean that tells you something that it's it's nice it works very well um, but of course if you have a different eye shade um, or you like to do your makeup differently in creative ways like just even simply using your finger then of course you don't need all these brushes um, but these are the ones I've just been using and I really really like um, so I'll link all the brush um, uh, names and then uh, links to them as well so that way you guys can check it out and explore a little bit or purchase another one that you really, really need um, during this time. And um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, kind of brush review um, and we'll see you soon. Bye.